everyone and welcome to a Total Miner build tutorial. My name is Jeff and today uh, we are going to be doing something very stereotypical but we are going to be building a medieval house. And the reason I chose medieval house even though so many tutorials have flooded YouTube with them um, is because this design I'm using I really enjoy it. Um, it's a simple square um, so it's really not that hard to follow and I just think it looks uh, really nice. So if you're going to do this on creative, it's a lot easier, but obviously some people might want to do this on survival or dig deep. Um, it's going to be a lot tougher. It requires a lot of wood. Um, so if you want to chop wood or buy them, uh, I'd recommend doing that early. But um, I'm going to go ahead and show you all the blocks that we'll need. You will uh, need a multi-texture block, or I should say a lot of these blocks. You're going to need multi-texture blocks uh, with the ability to texture them as stairs. I am on the... Um, Rupture HD texture pack, and I really do like the dark wood that uh, the stair texture gives. Um, so go ahead and get some multi-texture blocks. You're going to need three half blocks um, with the ability to texture as concrete brick, stairs, and um, wooden planks. Um, you're going to need stairs, uh, lots of them, if you can tell by the roof, um, with the ability to be textured as wood, concrete brick, and stairs. Um, I already have our layout of the ground done, but if you want to do this for a plot or something, um, I use grass, scoria, dirt, and then for the pathway I use cobblestone uh, with a mixture of mossy in with that. Obviously you're going to need wood and concrete brick. Um, for this top layer I used uh, white wool, and then I used a decal applicator, which is this, to decal it with the wood bracing, which is on the far right. Um, I'm not actually sure how difficult it is to acquire those in Survival Dig Deep. Um, if you can't get a hold of one, wool looks just as good, but I prefer it with the bracing. Um, I also have flowers and stuff on the uh, ground just for a little more detail. Um, you can use trapdoors textured as stairs. The trapdoor texture looks nice too. I don't know why, but I just chose to go with stairs. Um, two kinds of leaves, um, one for a tree, and then whatever you use for vines, I would suggest using different colored leaves in the tree, because uh, it starts to look tacky. Um, fence, ladder, some torches, chest, two beds, three or four furnaces, um, I mean, I guess that all depends on what you want, uh, a wood door, and uh, some glass panes. Of course, you can use blocks. Um, our wall is actually one indent in, so if you would want to use uh, the block instead, that is how it would look. It doesn't really look that much different. The only difference is panes in Total Miner do not allow light to filter through, so tor uh, torches are a must. But if you would prefer to have natural light, of course you can replace all of these at your leisure. So um, let's just go ahead and get started on this. Okay guys, here I am with our plot and the first thing I'm going to do is kind of paint the outline of the house. So as you can see here, um, it's kind of got like a wood frame and then the wall and roof is built around it. Um, I think it'll be good and help people visualize if I do that first. So I have a ooh, little piece of wood snuck through there. I have a I believe it's 18 by 18 square, um, but of course just get some room. The house is not actually that big. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to take a wood block and place it there. Count three spaces, so one, two, three, and then another wood block, just like that. And if you can tell, we're going to do this two more times, so we have three of these. So one, two, three, block, one, two, three, block. And that is going to be the length of the house. Now the width is five blocks, and that's just it. So one, two, three, four, five, block. Just like that, match it over on this side, and then block and block. So there is the basis of our house. So now you can go ahead and take some concrete brick, and you're going to want to brick the entire inside of this place. Now, fortunately, I have markers. I can do this very quickly. So concrete brick, and then there you have it. Of course, this will be hollow for flooring. So if you're on survival, that's really all you need. And then of course, when decorating comes, um, some of these can be taken out. So you won't be able to see those or those. Um, but it's always helpful um, for survival. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna bring these uh, wood 
pillars, I should say, up about four more blocks. So you're going to go one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, and then just go around. So I'll quickly do this. There we have it, just like that. And you can't see it because these uh, lower roof uh, covers it, but you're going to want to connect all of them except on the width sides. Those are going to be a little different. So you're going to want to connect it like this. And same for this side. And then for the inside, I always like having cross beams. I think they look fancy. Oops. Just like that. Oops. So there's uh, the first outline of our house, which is just uh, fantastic. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take a risk here and start on the roof outline before anything else. So what you're going to want to do is take your um, wooden stair, oops, texture this as a wood block, and put it down just like that. Do the same right here. Now what you're going to want to do is place a wood block on top of those. I don't know if you can see it in there. There's a stair and then a wood block. And then another stair on top of those. Just like that. A wood stair underneath, upside down. Same idea. Wood block. Stair. And then the same thing right here. Oops, just like so. So there you have it. You should have a little gap in here, and then I believe just like that. Is there a block there? There is a block there, excuse me. There. There is the outline of the upper roof, and of course, for me, I have markers, so I can just copy and paste these. Of course, you are in survival, you can't, so just repeat the same exact process over here. Place that in like that, and it should look identical on either side. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to these right here. Now these are a little different because these don't hang over. So you're just going to take this right on this block, go up to. And these will stay in line with these levels. So then you're going to want to take no, oops, another wood block, go up two, up two, and then of course your one block right there. And I do think these sides have it. Yes, they do. Right here, and here, and here. Just like so. And then you're going to uh, go ahead and copy and paste this over on top of that one and just to check these all should be on the same level and I do believe they are yes they are okay so there is the outline of your house kind of the bare bones of it now let's go ahead and start working on kind of the um, inner workings of it I think we'll save the outside and decoration stuff for last so we're gonna do a basic design which consists of cobblestone going up two, like that, and then taking a concrete brick and going, oops, like that. And it looks like that. So I'm going to go ahead and use the steel port coolest block, because um, I used panes um, over here for this one. So put those in like that, and then just for the sake of of time I'll just throw those in we'll decorate those later and then put in um, stairs with the stair texture like that and you're gonna repeat this exact process all on these blocks not this side save these sides for last so I will be right back and I will have that done alright there we have it so you um, should have these walls filled in like so and of course our door is going to go here with our little porch right here so I kinda just left that blank we will do that last for decoration so just as a quick heads up I'm gonna go ahead and walk in here real quickly and do the floor um, so you're gonna come in here and there should just be this empty room 
So right here on this middle window is where you're going to place these three blocks and then fill in this side with wood plank blocks. Just like that. And then right here, we're going to want to take your half block and make this wood planks um, on the bottom. So now there is a little um, kind of level difference without building another floor. But of course, I will um, have access to an attic in case you need more storage. All right, exciting. So now I'm going to show you how to do this side in one second. All right, guys, so I'm back. So as you can see, it's a really simple design between cobblestone, wood braced wool, and then stairs. So the basic design for this is you're going to want to take a stair and texture it as concrete brick like that. And you're going to put those three just like that. And then I find it easy just to add a kind of filler block right here for the temporary moment. But we will remove that later. So three here and then two on the spaces we didn't do there. So just like that. So you can go ahead and remove those two filler blocks. Um, let's just go ahead and make this concrete brick across. That might actually just be easier. Okay, so then you want to take a stair block upside down in those two spaces and then fill in the other spaces with an upside down block. I'm just going to go ahead and copy paste like that and fill in. So there is the outline as you can see they alternate being upside down and just standard. Now we're going to take cobblestone. These are already in the side from this wall and you're going to want to place one right in the middle just like that. Okay, so then on top of this cobblestone layer, place a row of cobblestone blocks, as you can see right here. So now we're going to go ahead and do some wood braced wool, place wool here, here, and then do one, two, one, two, one, just like that. Take your decal applicator if you do have it, place it there with wood bracing, Oops. There we go. And then take out a fence block. You can texture this whatever. I prefer the standard fence texture and rupture. And then just like that, you have your first side. And of course, this is going to, going to be the exact same on this side because this is a very symmetrical build, except on this side, I think I'm going to put a window in here. Yeah, let's go ahead and put a window here. So do the exact same thing on this side as you did on that one, but put a window in. And I will be right back when you all have that done. Alright, so there we go. We should have two matching sides with a roof still barren. So here is where we are right now. And um, I, think we should, uh, I think we should start on the roof. So the first thing we're going to work on is this kind of arc we got right here. Now a lot of total minor maps... Um, they don't usually do uh, an arc like this. Um, I don't know why that is. I think it looks really, really nice. Most of them stick with a standard kind of stair, stair, stair all the way up. But uh, I think we're going to try that. All right, sorry about that, guys. So now we're going to work on the roof. So as you can see, it's got the arch that we're going to do. And what you're going to want to do is start right here and place a concrete brick textured stair on this corner facing, oh, on my screen, it's south, but that way. And then you're going to want to take a upside down stair, place that right next to it. Oops. And then you're going to want to take a um, concrete brick, place that there. Take a stair and place it there. So if you can see, we're kind of placing it um, on the outside of this frame if that uh, helps you visualize it. So another block there, concrete brick, stair block there. And then another upside down stair right there, concrete brick, and then stairs. And that's how you come up with this sort of arch. Now I feel like I did that fast, so I'm going to do it again on this side, but a little slower. So we're going to take the stair textured as a concrete brick and move it just to the corner like that. Upside down stair next to it, concrete brick on top of the upside down one and then a regular stair on top of that. So it goes upside down stair, concrete brick, regular stair. And then you just repeat the process all the way up. 
So on the back of this one, repeat the process starting with upside down stair, concrete brick, regular. Repeat the process again with an upside down stair, concrete brick, stair. Just like that. And then you're going to want to take a concrete brick and place an upside down stair there. And then for the roof, I'm going to go ahead and clear this out because I did that for uh, measurements. Just like that. Bring this out one. Oops. Like that. Place a upside down stair like there and then right there. So as you can see, that's going to be our little um, kind of overhang hook crest. I don't know what you call that right there. And then there's your arch. That's what you're going to build off of. And as you, if you can tell, it's going to be identical on the other side. So for me, I'm going to copy and paste. If you're on survival or dig deep, um, just go ahead and repeat the process again. Um, it's very simple once you get the hang of it. So place that right there. And there, our roof is actually starting to come together. So now what we need to do is this side, which is the exact same process um, as the other one, except you don't put this little one in the corner. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come down to this layer right here. And then outside this wood block, place an upside down stair. Right there. Oops. Place it the wrong way. Right there. Concrete brick stair. Just like that. So if you can see on the original build, it's right on this layer that separates the um, second floor attic from the first floor, and that's what we made in our outline. So just repeat this process all the way up. Upside down stair, cobblestone, or um, concrete brick, excuse me. Oops. All the way up to the top, like that. Put that there. And for the sake of time, I'm just going to go ahead and copy paste over. Like that. And then we're going to do the same exact um, kind of hook at the top of the uh, building by placing an upside down stair there, one there, place that there, and then a concrete brick there. So there is the hook for this build. You can go ahead and take this and repeat the process on the other side. Obviously, if you're in survival or dig deep, once again, just do the same exact thing we did for this one, just on the front of the build. If I can line this up correctly. Yes. And then, ooh, I forgot to do the wool. So you're going to take the wool, same thing. Um, for the sake of consistency, let's just take cobblestone and outline on top of this. I think I did wood, but I think cobblestone actually might look a little better. I don't know. We'll see. But white wool, white wool, and then I think it's one on top. Is it one on top? Oh, I actually put these down one too far. Excuse me for that. These are going to go right here, like that. And then the wood block is going to come up one. Weird, I thought I had that. Anyway. Let's go ahead and move these up on both sides. Alright, back to the wool. So two, two, and one, just as usual. That's what threw me off because I tried to make this as symmetrical as possible. Once again, wood bracing. And then just take your fence and place it in like that. And for the sake of time, I'm going to copy paste this over to the other one. Perks of having a symmetrical build, I guess, like that. And there, the upstairs are starting to come together. Now the only thing we have left is the roof and of course some decoration. So it's going to look really nice if we kind of outline it with this concrete brick. It looks like braced. So if you can see here, I have the entire roof connected. And uh, because we did the roofs this way, it's a really easy fix. Just one, two, three. Make sure they're textured as concrete bricks, of course. Like this. 
and then the roof is outlined. So of course we are going to, going to be using um, multi-texture blocks um, and the stair texture for our roof. Now I don't know really a good way to explain this, um, so I'm going to kind of I'm going to do one fourth of the roof. Oops, one fourth of the roof, and then I'll talk through it, but. I'm going to go through it a couple times just because um, when I learned this design, it was really confusing for me, so I understand if it's hard for people to get it. So basically what you're going to want to do is every time there's a concrete brick, a full brick, not a stair, you're going to place a multi-texture block next to it. And then you're just going to go across the build and fill it out until it hits, like that. And then every time there's a stair, you're going to want to take your stair block and fill it out across, like that. Now the only thing is, in Total Miner, stairs don't connect right here like they do in Minecraft. So anytime stairs come into this right angle, they're gonna wanna place a multi-texture block like that. And then it should be really easy, just bring this across like that. Of course, you can just go ahead and get rid of that. It's not very noticeable, but I'm not too worried about it. So just like that, and then you're gonna to wanna to place a stair, put those across like that. So here's a full concrete brick, so I'm gonna bring this all the way across. And then here's a stair, so I'm gonna go stairs, across, and then a corner block right there. So if that went too fast for you, that's all right, I'm gonna do the same exact thing on this side. So here's a concrete brick full layer. So I'm going to do a full block. And then of course a stair layer. And then concrete brick there and there. So you're going to want to take these and move them all the way across. Go to your stairs. Fill out just like that. Oops. And this is a full layer, so you're going to want to bring this all the way over. And then stairs right here. And then finish. So there's your one half of the roof. Now, if that's confused you, I'm sorry, but the best way I can explain it is, if you can bring these across and replace them with concrete brick, and it will look no different, then you're doing it right. If you come across and they're different, like this, then you've done something wrong. That's the best way I can describe it. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. And then of course, since the build is a square and it is symmetrical, you can repeat that process right over here. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy paste for the sake of time. And there you have it, your house is, well, basically done. You know, all we have now is uh, touch-ups. So, to do um, kind of a garden, um, if you're on survival or dig deep, just plant a sapling and then bone meal it. But since I am on creative, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to trees, maple, I like maple. Uh, I think I'm gonna use tiny three. I believe that one's tiny four, but I think this one will look nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this right there. I set that up, and just like that. So now we're going to do the uh, window boxes. So take a trap door and place it on all these. I used the stair texture over here. I think that looks nice. For this one, I'm gonna use trap doors just uh, to be different, kind of like I did with the windows. You pick, it's all personal preference. Um, it doesn't make that much difference to a build whether it's trapdoor or stairs, but um, I don't know, I kind of like trapdoor texture now. I don't know. So once I get these all the way across and down, um, just fill in the grass blocks with flowers. So grab, I don't think I use purple flowers. So I'll, I do entire boxes like this with the same flower. You can mix it up. Probably looks better mixed up but this is for just the sake of showing you guys, just like that. And now for 
um, the porch. I don't know why I put this here. I kind of just ran out of ideas. I think what I'm going to do is just take the half blocks and place them across like this. But basically all you got to do is take this out two, take this out four, form a right angle like that. Take your stair blocks, texture them as concrete bricks. And then, oops, I do need half blocks. Place the half blocks on top, just like that. And then I use the stair texture, so it would be different. You, of course, can use whatever you want. And then, like that. And then I prefer to put the door on the inside. So if you place it there, it looks too bland. So I prefer to take it and put it in like that. So it kind of gives a, oops, it kind of gives the house a nice indentation, if that makes sense. And then, of course, you can just bone meal um, your yard. Just place one like right there. If I spammed it all around, it would go all everywhere around here since it's a grass map. So I'm not going to do that. But you get the point on how to create the pathway. Just kind of some mossy, mossy cobblestone within the uh, the um, scoria and dirt. So I think the only thing we have left is interior and vines. So I'm going to go ahead and do the vines now. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's really no rhyme or reason to how I do the vines. I like to just start off and make a cross up here and kind of just picture how this works out. So I like to have one come down here and then kind of float off the roof a little. And survivor dig deep is probably going to be a lot harder if you don't have an amulet of flight. Vines aren't necessary. Um, they just kind of give it a more rustic, worn look to it. These ones are going to come down here, and I think we're going to hang off right next to the oops, right next to the porch. And then these ones are going to come over here and connect with some vines that are coming down here just like that and then this one will come down here split off and go this way and then we'll have this one come to this corner come down here like this and hang off right here I think that looks nice um, we'll have this one come down this way. Uh, let's have this actually come back up around, kind of. If that makes sense. And we'll have it hang off this end. So that way the sides get a little love from the vines. Like that. And then, of course, we need this side. So um, let's connect these here. Uh, like that and have this come down across like that and then just hang off a little oops like that now of course there's real there was really nothing um, design wise that I did for those vines just kind of make them look ragged and just kind of everywhere like the house is gone now in uh, rupture um, where are the vines you can use climbing ivy just to spam it over the place. I don't really like that. Um, Rupture HD's vine looks a lot better than... Oops, not original, remade. Um, original because it doesn't cover an entire block. So that's like a perfect square while Rupture's is um, transparent. Oops. I went to Steampunk. But, you know, it's all up to you. So now it's time for the interior, which is our final part. So we're going to go ahead and crash down and come in here. So this this looks all kinds of rugged right now. But that's all right. We'll fix it up. So like I said, we're going to go ahead and fix up some of this foundation right here. We can place those in there. And then for the roof, um, go ahead and take half blocks and then texture them as wood planks and put them on the upper level up here. Just like this. And what this will do is if you go downstairs, it gives the um, wood beams that are going across kind of, um, it brings your eye to them, I guess. It ma makes them stand out. So then it's kind of dark in here, so we're going to put a torch there, 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 and there. So now it's nice and bright. 
Uh, right here is where we are going to put the ladder to the attic. So you can go up, up, yeah, put it all the way up like that. So you can put chests or whatever you want in here. Um, you can clean this up too. Like in that house over there, I think I just melt mesh the windows into the wall, kind of like this. Like that. Um, I kind of like that. Let's go ahead and do that. Of course, you could always just leave it blank. Um, without this there, it kind of does look like a roof, if that makes sense. Um, go across like this. Just leave that. And then, whatever you want to use this upstairs floor, you know, you could throw a furnace in here, or a chest, or a crate, or something for storage. It's really all up to you and what you really need. Um, ooh, I almost forgot this side. Just like that. So I think that looks nice. And then for the downstairs, it's a really simple uh, design. I use two beds. You can only you only have to use one in Survival or Dig Deep. I place them here, so now it kind of looks like sleeping mats. I take chests, place them here, here, and here. And then I place the furnaces in these little alcoves right here. So that way you don't have to go upstairs. And then it's kind of, I don't want to say boring here, but yeah. You can always make carpets. Personally, I like to take blue and put it across like this. And then take red, I believe. Oops, no, dark red dark red like that and it kind of creates a nice little pattern for carpets that's all up to you that's just simple uh, decoration so then in this little alcove I like to place a concrete brick like that and then take two paintings and put them in here now I don't know what you have for paintings but the one I used over here oops I used a sword which is one of the one uh, paintings I have I think that looks nice you can always use something different um, and I, th I think that's it Go upstairs. I think that's it. You could also um, cover over these with carpet if you prefer that. Yeah, so I, I think I think that's about it. Um, of course, decoration. If you don't want to do this, you can always put farms out here instead of um, the grass and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I think that's about it, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this build, um, definitely leave a like. Uh, comment below what you think I should do next. Um, I kind of got this idea from a component map I'm making, so if you guys want me to build anything, uh, definitely let me know. But um, thanks for watching, guys, and I will, uh, I'll see you next time.